Good morning, everyone. In the last video, we have discussed few information or few questions regarding the DNA. That is a deoxyribonucleic acid, which is a genetic material. Okay. We have discussed regarding the nucleic acids and nucleic acid is of two types. One is DNA and another is RNA. Okay. In we have seen that nucleic acid is the polymer of nucleotide. Okay. In nucleotide, which consists of the nitrogenous base, pentose, sugar, and phosphate group. These all we have seen in case of DNA. We have seen in, in case of DNA, which type of sugar was present, deoxyribose, which nitrogenous base was present, adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine, okay, and phosphate group. Similarly, and we have also seen in case of DNA that that is made of two polypeptide chain, okay, oh, sorry, two polynucleopeptide nucleotide chain. <coughs> now, let's talk about the RNA. Uh, which, as in case of DNA, you have seen that that was a double stranded. But in case of RNA, it is a single stranded. There is no double stranded in case of RNA, except few exceptions. Okay, DNA is <coughs> double stranded and RNA is single stranded. In most of the living organisms, DNA act as a genetic material. Genetic material means the material which transfers genetic character from one generation to the next generations. Okay, when you talk about the, what do you mean by this? Then there is two term, one is inheritance and the second term is variation. When any, any character is transferred from one generation to another generation through the ge genetic material that is inheritance. And if that character has some variation or no two same uh, living organism of same species looks same due to the, the, the reason is that variation. And the study of inheritance and variation that is known as genetics. Then which, who is responsible for transferring the characters from one generation to the other generation? That is genetic material. Then what? which was the first genetic material? DNA, RNA, protein, amino acids, and none. Uh, the right answer is first genetic material was RNA. Okay, our DNA is developed from the, evolved from the RNA only. Which of the following have RNA as a genetic material? As I've told you that most of the living organism has DNA as a genetic material, but there are few of, uh, uh, cases where the uh, RNA act as a genetic material. Re uh, options are Rio virus, TMB, QB bacteriophage, A and B only, A, B and C. Then in this case, in Rio virus also, TMB also, there is tobacco mosaic virus, QB bacteriophage, in all three conditions, instead of DNA here, RNA act as a genetic material. So our answer will be A, B, and C. Next, which of the following is non-genetic RNA? Okay, non-genetic RNA. There are two types of uh, RNA. One is genetic RNA, and another is non-genetic RNA. Non-genetic RNA. Means non-genetic RNA means other function than the genetic functions. Means transfer of character from one generation to another generation. That is genetic RNA. The, as you have seen in case of Rio virus and tobacco mosaic virus, okay. But there are some RNA which is non-genetic. They do other functions than the carrying the genetic informations. Then which of the as following are the non-genetic RNA? tRNA, rRNA, mRNA, all none. The right answer is tRNA, rRNA, and mRNA. All are non-genetic information, uh, non-genetic RNA. They are involved in the protein synthesis. Next. Now we will talk about the few questions regarding the non-genetic RNA. 80% of the cell's total RNA is composed of mRNA, tRNA, rRNA, all or none of the above. Now, let's see. When you talk about the right answer is rRNA, that is ribosomal RNA. Okay. It consists of the 80% of the total RNA present in the cell. Okay. And it is found in the ribosome and it is produced in the nucleolus. Found in the ribosomes, but produced in the nucleolus. It is the most stable form of RNA. Two points is important. Most stable form of RNA, most stable form of RNA. Second was that it is found in ribosome, but produced in nucleolus. Okay, regarding whom I'm talking, rRNA. This is the right answer. Which of the following is a smallest RNA? Okay. tRNA, mRNA, rRNA, ANBO, and none. The right answer is tRNA, that is transfer RNA, which constitutes 10 to 15% of the total RNA. 
it is synthesized by the nucleus by dna it is also known as the soluble as well as the adapter rna which is the smallest rna that is trna that is trna now next at the time of protein synthesis which is which rna type act as a carrier of amino acids what is uh, protein that is the polymer of amino acids then during the formation of protein which rna will act as a carrier for the carrier of the amino acids then that is transfer rna or you can say trna which type of rna has the most completed structure complicated structure mrna messenger rna trna transfer rna or ribosomal rna all or none of the above then the, if you see then what is the function of trna that it at the time of protein synthesis it act as a carrier of amino acids and also the trna has the most complicated structure regarding structures we will have one more, one more questions let's see which is the least stable rna then the least stable rrna is it mrna that is messenger rna which constitute 1 to 5 percent of the total rna 1 to 5 percent of the total rna okay and this is produced by the genetic material dna in the nucleus and it is the least stable all the important formations are in this question only i have told you the most complicated structure is of trna okay then wholly presented global leaf model structure was given for which type of rna just it is clear that it was for trna okay <clears throat> now if you see the structure of trna looks like a clover leaf but in actual structure the trna is a compact molecule which looks like inverted l so trna is the most complicated has the most complicated structure and clover leaf model of a structure was given for the trna only DNA replication takes place in which phase of the cell cycle? S phase, mitotic phase, meiotic phase, B only, none. Then DNA replication takes place in case of S phase of the cell cycle. I'll bring more questions regarding now. You have understood all the informations nearly regarding the RNA, DNA. Again, I'll give you information regarding the genetic material or genetic code. Again, I'll give you a few information regarding the uh, amino acids, protein synthesis, everything. But we will study in the sequence. Now we'll have a few questions from the DNA replication, DNA transcription, and translation in the next video. What is DNA replication? Okay, formation of DNA from DNA, that is, see first, DNA, RNA, and protein. DNA, if DNA is formed from DNA, that is replication. If RNA is formed from DNA, that is transcription. And if protein is formed over RNA, that is translation. And this diagram is known as central dogma. Very important for the FCI examinations. So guys, in the next video, we'll bring a few more questions from these genetic topics. Slowly, slowly, we'll move to the human physiology, also plants, um, plant anatomy also. Means we are going to cover as much as possible the sections of botany and geology for the FCI examination. Thank you.